This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. This video covers an Azure Bring Your Own subscription for Parallels DAS. Log on to the Parallels admin page. Upon the initial login, this wizard will appear to help you connect to your Azure subscription. Click Continue to get started. The App Registration tab contains a summary of the prerequisites in Azure that are needed. If you haven't already done so, complete configuration. Click Continue to move to the Connection Details tab. In the Connection Details tab, provide the information that is required. When filling in the description, you can make the description anything you want. If you use the prerequisites creation script explained in a previous video, all this information was provided as the output of that script. If you created the prerequisites manually, copy that information in the designated fields. If you have not created the prerequisites, you'll need to go back and create them. This can be done either manually or you may follow the instructions in the TechBytes video. Configure Azure Prerequisites. Once configuration is complete, click Continue. The Connection Validation tab should now show four green check marks. You can click Continue. In case anything is missing or incorrect, follow the guidelines shown in that tab. Now select the two resource group you created before. Again, if you use the prerequisites creation script explained in a previous video, all this information was provided as the script's output. If you created the prerequisites manually, copy that information in the designated fields, then click Continue. The Settings Validation tab should now show four green check marks. Click Deploy to start deploying Parallels DAS in your environment. The deployment can take up to 30 minutes to complete. Now is a good time to watch the other Parallels DAS videos in this series to prepare for the next steps. Once the deployment is completed, the Azure Settings tab will show the status connected. When switching to the Azure portal, the Infrastructure Resource Group now contains the various infrastructure components that are needed. The Virtual Machine Resource Group will still be empty at this point. Creating virtual machines is covered in an upcoming video. With your Azure subscription now connected, you are ready to manage, maintain, and use Parallels DAS. This concludes the video on configuring an Azure, bring your own subscription for Parallels DAS. To see more content on Parallels DAS, subscribe to our channel and browse the TechBytes series.